Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be making this simulation here, um, which is called Boids. Um, so Boids are a group of um, autonomous agents that try and mimic the behavior of flocking animals like birds or fish or anything that travels in flocks. So here you can see these are individual agents, meaning they control themselves, and they're governed by some very simple rules that make them act in this intelligent, cooperative way. Um, so let's get started. Hey, so now I've set up the project. I'm going to be using p5.js for this project. It's a JavaScript library that helps you draw things with the canvas. Um, I've used it once before on a tic-tac-toe project, so I'm relatively familiar with it, although that was two years ago, so it took me way longer than I care to admit um, just to get the canvas set up. Um, so I'll start working on the project now and let's see if we can put a bird on this thing. Okay, so now I've got a single bird on the screen. Um, so let's see if we can uh, make this bird move. Uh, I'll start by doing rotation, then let's see if we can get it to move in a line. Okay, we've got it rotating. That was easy enough. Uh, now let's see if we can get it to move. Okay, well it is moving now. Um, but I don't think that's quite right. Um, so I'll try and change it. Okay, so here we go. It shouldn't have been that hard, but now we've got a bird that can move and can rotate. Um, so let's add a couple more of these and then we can start adding the behavior. Okay, so now I've added in multiple of the birds, um, but here they're going off the screen, which I probably should have expected. So let's try and make them stay on the screen by wrapping them around. So if they go off like here, off the edge of the screen, they'll appear on the other side. So let's try and do that now. Okay, so here we've got them all staying on the screen because whenever they go to the edge of the screen, they reappear on the other side. Um, so now they stay on the screen always, so we can now implement our rules. So now, after briefly looking at Wikipedia and getting ChatGPT to summarize it, I'm now a complete expert in Boyd's. So there's three main rules that Boyd's use to navigate. That's separation, alignment, and cohesion. I'll go over the other two later, but let's focus on separation for now. Separation is the technique which Boyd's use to avoid other um, birds and not crash into each other always. So here I've drawn a little diagram and we can see we've got the main Boyd that I've colored in a bit and then we've got four other Boyds. Here we can see the Boyd is going forward. We want it to turn slightly to the right because that way it can avoid the vast majority of the Boyds. So how are we going to do this? So what we can do is we can find the vector from the Boyd we're looking at to another one next to it. So here we can see we've got a vector between our current bird and the bird we want to dodge. And we can see that this will have a distance, we can call that D. And we want to go in the opposite direction. We want to go away from these. So what I've done is I've drawn another vector opposite to it with a distance of one divided by D. Okay, and we can do this for all of them. We want to avoid all of these birds. So for all of them, we're going to draw the vector in and a distance of one over D um, on the opposite side. And that's going to be the way we want to go. So let me just quickly draw all of these in. Okay, so notice here how the further away birds have less of an effect on the way we want to travel because their one divided by distance is going to be much smaller since distance is bigger. So that means that closer birds have a greater impact on our di direction, which is what we want because we don't want something far away to have a large effect on our bird. So here I'm drawing in the total um, of these four vectors. So you can just add them up and here we've got the total. And that's what we want to steer towards. So here we can draw back in our direction vector and then find the angle between these two vectors. When this angle is close to 90 degrees, 
we're going to want to turn more. And since that angle is to the right of our direction vector, we're going to want to turn right. Um, so when the angle is close to 90, like it is here, we're going to want to turn a lot. Where if it was basically zero, then we wouldn't want to turn at all. Or even if it was 100 degrees, meaning that the birds are all in front of us, we still wouldn't want to turn much. So we can find out if the angle is close to 90 to tell us how much we want to turn. And conveniently, there's going to be an easy way to do this, which is called the cross product. And that is larger when the angles are closer to 90 and smaller when they're closer together. We're also going to want to speed up the bird when all the birds are behind us. And we're going to want to slow the bird down when all the other birds are in front of us. So to do this, what we can do is we can find the vector and see if they're pointing in the same direction or not. And then we can use that to tell us whether we should speed up or slow down. Conveniently, again, there's another easy way to do that, and that's called the dot product. I'll implement those two things and we can see how the simulation works. I've implemented the separation code. And as you can see, these um, birds are now relatively easily um, and relatively successfully avoiding other birds. And like here, they're trying to steer away from others. Um, so that's great. And now I'll move on to the other two parts of cohesion and alignment. So let's start with alignment. Okay, so for alignment, um, what we want to do is make the bird go in the same direction as all the birds close to it. So um, how we do this is first we set up a radius and we look at all the birds within that radius and what we do is we look at the direction they're traveling so here i'll draw them in and here we can see the direction the birds are traveling and then we can look at the direction our bird is currently traveling the the one that we're looking at and what we can do is we can average the directions down that the other birds are traveling so here, this one's going a bit left, and most of them are going mainly straight, but a bit to the left. So let's draw that in on top of our bird here, and we can see these two vectors. And once again, we'll have an angle theta here. So here, we've got that angle theta. And what we want to do is we want to turn towards that angle. And once again, we want to turn very little if they're close together and a lot if they're spread apart. So we can do the exact same thing this time using the cross product again. So what we can do is just use the cross product between the direction we're going and the direction we want to go to find out how much we need to turn. So let's implement that and see how the birds are looking. Okay, so now I've implemented uh, the alignment rule. And as you can see, they're all facing the same direction, which is super cool. They are a bit boring at the moment because I haven't got cohesion implemented. And I also don't have any randomness. So they're finding it very easy to just all go the same direction. But when I reload the page and restart the simulation, you can see that there is some interesting behavior at the very start. Um, so next I'll implement cohesion. And then I'll probably implement some randomness so that way they don't all just go in the same direction and we get a bit of interesting behavior. But let's work on cohesion first. Okay, so for cohesion, what we want to do is we want to look at all the birds in that same radius again. So we're only looking at birds close to us. And what we want to do is we want to find the average of their positions. So we want to find the middle of the pack and then we want to go towards that. So that way we're kind of going towards the larger group of birds because birds travel in clumps. So we want to go towards the clump. We don't want to be left out on the outside. So here, um, we'll have the average of the point, something like here. So here you can see that they're about an equal distance away from all these points. And then what we can do is we can draw a vector to this point so here, 
we've got our two vectors, our position vector and our vector to the point. And once again, we can find this angle here, this angle theta. And once again, we can use the cross product to tell if we should steer towards the point or not. Okay, so now I've set up the cohesion. So now you can see that they're traveling in clumps. I've also made the map a bit larger. So that way we can see these more intricate patterns. But as you can see, they're still being kind of boring and clumping together a lot. So the way to fix that will be to add a bit of randomness. So that's just going to be changing the angle of the bird slightly every turn, just with a random amount. And in addition to that, I'm going to start working on wall avoidance. So I'll just get it so that when it goes close to the wall, it'll steer away. So now I've implemented the randomness feature and also getting the birds to avoid the wall. So here now, if you look at one of the birds, when they reach the wall, they uh, turn around and go back. Um, so here we can tweak these um, parameters I've made in the UI. So here, if I increase the randomness, they'll move around more in random directions. I can also increase like their separation. So here, they're going to try and avoid each other a lot more now. Uh, I can include increase the like range that the alignment and cohesion take effect. And I can increase the range that the separation takes effect. So here with the separation range at max and separation at max, they're trying really hard to separate. Uh, where if I turn both of those down, they won't try. Here I've got alignment as well. Um, and that can make them align. Got separation and I've also got cohesion. So we can toggle all of these sliders to see what they do. Um, so here, if I toggle them to like a moderate level here, you can see that we've got some interesting behavior forming with like these flocks, they interact really good. When they hit a wall, they often spread out um, because they've all got to go in different directions to avoid the wall. And you can see they interact in these really cool patterns. Um, and we can change them by changing these variables. Uh, we've also got some cool things like scale. So we can make the birds smaller or larger um, just in their appearance. Um, and we can also change the influence of the mouse. So I've added this feature where if you click down, the birds will go, the birds will go towards your mouse. And then when you uh, click with your right arm um, thing, with your right mouse, they'll go away. So here I'm clicking with my left, they'll come towards it. And with my right, they'll go away. So we've got that really cool feature there. Uh, here I'll turn randomness up a bit again, a bit more range. And we get these really cool patterns. Um, here you can see I've published this to GitHub pages. So if you want, you can check it out um, and play with these for yourself. It's lots of fun. Um, and thanks for watching.